Hey there, welcome to Color Yoga. I'm Kyle and welcome to the Power Flow. Good job for getting to your mats. I hope today wasn't uh, too strenuous getting there. But now that we're here, we can sort of just shake it off and get into our practice. We've got a fun 20 minute full body power flow lined up. And if you're new to the channel, I put out a video on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and I'm sort of gearing up to put one out every day of the week, or at least until Friday. So we can have a cool spot to come to for a daily yoga practice. So if you'd like to support that journey, you can hit the subscribe and notification bell and leave a comment afterwards if you liked something or you prefer to see more of something else, I'm always open to suggestions. So when you're ready, you can grab your mat. Let's begin. Hey, welcome back. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat, easy cross-legged, or you can sit on your knees. Grow some length out the back of your neck. Inhale to fill. And as you exhale, bring your eyes to close. Take a moment a few deep breaths just to arrive onto your mat. Noticing where you feel your breath most prominently. And I turn the attention inwards. And just notice perhaps the contact we make with the ground or the cool air coming in through the nose. Just embodying our sense of awareness. I'm going to pay attention to the breath throughout the next 20 minutes, encouraging long, smooth breath and keeping our attention on our mat. Inhale to fill. Open mouth, sigh to release and let it go. One more time. Inhale, nice and full. And big open mouth, sigh to release. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, through them to prayer. Take a moment to set an intention for your class. Just giving your practice a sense of grounding and some sort of direction. And you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll begin today in tabletop. So make your way to your knees at the back of your mat. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale, cow pose, allow your belly to lower, look forward, open up the collarbones. Exhale, cat pose, press, tuck the chin and curl. Inhale, cow, belly lowers, anteriorly tuck the tailbone, chin up. Exhale, cat, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin and press into the ground. One more time. Inhale, cow, lower the belly. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow, low the belly, tuck your toes and walk your hands a little bit forward. Exhale, down dog, press hips up, heels down. Take a moment or two just to arrive into this posture. If you are unsure about the distance between your hands and your feet, you can just rock forward to plank, stack your shoulders over your wrists, and then shift the weight up and back into your down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step jump or float to a wide-legged squat at the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, wide-legged chair. Sit down, arms up, and breathe. So your feet are just a little bit wider than hip-width distance. Because we have space in between our legs, we can really challenge ourselves here. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down into Malasana or Yogi squat, nice and slow. When you get there, you can bring your hands to prayer. Sit up nice and tall, put your, your knees, your elbows on the inside of your knees, and you can use your hands to press and draw the hands back towards your chest to open up your legs. Keep breathing. From here, we're gonna release. And shift the weight into the left heel as much as we can. Now, if you need to, you can have your hands out wherever you like. We're going to shift the weight in and extend your right leg out in front of you. Flex the foot, find the balance. If you need to have your hands behind or in front of you, you can do so. Well, now, draw the knee back in and we're going to shift the weight back into Malasana. Well done. We're going to move over to the right side. Shift the weight over, extend the left leg out, flex the foot, find the balance and replace the foot back down. Well 
Done. From here, release down onto our bum, moving into Navasana. You can raise the shins up parallel. If you'd like to extend them out straight, that's totally fine. Open up your chest. If you need to support yourself, you can have your hands behind you. Take a deep breath in, raise your arms up. Exhale, low boat with control, come down. Inhale, rise, high boat, Navasana. Exhale down, keep going. Inhale up, exhale down, two more times. Inhale, rise with control, open up the chest. Exhale down, last time. Inhale, rise up, exhale down. Bring your knees into your chest, give them a good squeeze. Place the feet down. We're gonna come up onto our hands. Having the fingers facing forward, stack your shoulders over your wrists, coming into a reverse tabletop. So press down, lift the hips up, and breathe. Now you wanna squeeze your thighs together. Your feet are hip width distance apart. This is the stretch to work the opposite muscles for our chaturanga. So it's really important that we lift the hips up and breathe. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release, place the bum back down, extend your legs out, move into staff posture, reach your arms straight up into the sky, exhale, shift them forward and release, Pachimottanasana. Keep breathing. You wanna shift the weight forward and down. If your hamstrings are feeling tight, you can introduce a little bend into the legs. And release, you know, roll up, cross the legs over, and we're gonna meet in down dog. You can flow through vinyasa, otherwise we'll meet there in down dog. Inhale, up dog. Straighten the arms, squeeze. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step jump or float to a wide-legged chair at the top of your mat. Inhale, wide-legged chair, sit down, arms up, and breathe. Sit down into the heels, stretch the arms out. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down onto the heels. And then forward fold, straighten the legs out and release. Inhale, half lift, length out the back of the neck. Exhale, right foot steps back, runner's lunge. Left hand on the inside of the left foot. Inhale, gaze forward, lower the hips. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid. Press and straighten your front leg. Spine nice and straight, chest moving forward. Inhale, bend into the left leg. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid and fold. Inhale, bend the left leg. Exhale, side plank vashistasana. Left foot stacks on top of the right. Left arm reaches up. Now, you can modify by placing your right knee down or you can amp it up by raising the left leg up to hold. From here, squeeze your left knee into your chest with control to start and then step your foot to the top of your mat. Low lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing L. Balance on the left leg with a straight right leg. Hold. Come onto the fingertips, relax the back and neck. Now with a straight leg, raise your right heel up as high as you can. Hold for three, two, one. Release, stand up nice and tall. Tadasana, drawing your right knee into the chest. Arms reach out. Exhale, standing wind remover. Interlace the fingers, the front of the shin, and draw the knee up and back. Knock the hips back, roll the shoulders back and down. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three variation, or low flying warrior. Bring your hands to prayer. Make a strong capital T shape. If you need to, you can bend your standing leg. Keep the chest up and back leg nice and active. Touch the foot gently back down. Inhale, arms reach up, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach up and over the head. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse triangle. Now straighten the front leg and reach back. Exhale, full triangle or Titta Trikonasana. Keep the front leg straight. Shift the weight forward and then lower your arms down to your shins and reach your arm up. Now, if you have a block or a book, you can even place it on your hand for support. You wanna make sure that your front leg is nice and active, so draw the kneecap up. You wanna open yourself up, so stack your right hip on top of the left and keep your left side body lowering forward and down. Release, bend your left leg. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, plank, windmill the hands down and step 
back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms. Make sure your thighs are squeezed, knees hovering off the floor, look up. Exhale, down dog, roll over the toes, lower the heels, down. Inhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Exhale, step with a wide leg to the top of the mat. <coughs> Inhale, wide-legged chair, sit down, arms up, and breathe. Now, bring a sense of softness to the breath. Arms come along your ears, sit down into the heels. Tuck the chin. Inhale, sink as low as you can go. Exhale, forward fold, straighten the leg out and bow. <laughs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, left foot steps back, runner's lunge. Place your right hand on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid. Press and straighten. Draw back on the right hip and square the hips off to the front. Inhale, bend into the right knee, lower the hips. Exhale, pyramid pose. Last time. Inhale, bend the right knee, open up the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose. Release, bend your right knee. Exhale, side plank, Vashistasana. Stack the right foot on top of the left. Raise the right arm up. Find your variation. If you'd like to amp it up, raise the knee up. Take your right knee, squeeze it into your chest to begin. And then with control, step it to the top of the mat. Low lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, standing L. Balance on the right leg with a straight leg, left leg. Bring it up to the sky. Relax the back of the neck. Light on the fingertips, ground down to the heel. With a straight leg, raise the left leg up for three, a little bit higher. Two, one, and release. Tadasana. Knee in, stand up nice and tall, find the balance. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, standing runner mover. Interlace the fingers, draw the left knee in, and squeeze. Flex your left foot a lot. Draw the hips back, roll the shoulders back and down. Slight tuck of the chin. Release. Low Flying Warrior, bring the hands to prayer. Strong capital T shape, find balance. Left leg extends back with control. Touch the foot back down. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, Warrior Two, open up. Inhale, Reverse Warrior, turn the palm and reach all the way back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. Arm alongside your ear. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the front leg and reach back. Exhale, full triangle, keep your front leg straight, reach to the front of the room and then lower your arms down. Find a nice comfortable spot and breathe. Front leg is active, take your left hip and wrap it out, stacking it on top of the right. Release, bend the right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, keep your elbows tucked in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step, jump, or float to a wide-legged squat. Inhale, wide-legged chair, sit down, arms up, and breathe. Sit the weight into the heels. Find steadiness in your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release into Malasana Yogi, squat, drop, down. If your heels are too much, you can come up into the balls of the feet. Find a comfortable space. Shift the weight into the left leg. We're going to balance and extend the right leg out with control. Even if it's wobbling, you can place the leg down if it's more comfortable and then pulse it up a few times just to build the strength. We're going to shift over, tuck the leg, place it down. Shift over to the right leg. Find the balance first. Extend the leg out. Flex the toes if you can. If you need to, you can place it down, lift it up and we'll place the leg back down. Release Navasana. Place the bum down, shins up, hands out. Find the balance. Open up the chest. Inhale. Exhale, low boat. Slowly come down. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale down with control. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, last time. Inhale, rise all the way up to hold and release. Draw the knees in, rock from front to back. Now make our way into a reverse tabletop. Place the feet down, hands underneath your shoulders, fingers facing forward. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, arch back. Stay and breathe. Press the ground away. Use your core to lift your hips up towards the sky. And release. Place your bum down, extend your legs out, coming into Dandasana or Staff Pose. Arms straight up to the sky, keep your belly moving forward. Hold for three, two, one, release. Pachimottanasana, move the hands forward and fold. Release, inhale to roll up, and as you exhale, slowly lower down into your back. Well done. Draw the right knee into your chest, give it a good squeeze, flex your right foot a lot. Tuck your chin, draw the shoulders back onto the floor. And release the leg over, supine twist, looking over the right shoulder. Allow your breath to be long and relaxed. Keeping the right shoulder on the floor and over time lowering your right knee down towards the ground. And release, draw the right leg in. Switch it out, left leg draws in. Flex your left toes, tuck the chin, shoulders draw back. Release the leg over, supine twist, looking over the left shoulder. And release, draw both knees in, send your heels up to the sky. Happy baby for the last posture, taking the outer blades, drawing the legs open, you can also have it in a crab pose of just kind of holding onto your knees or your shins. If you like the full expression, take the outer blades, tuck the chin and draw the shoulders back. Press down or press up with the heels and pull down with the hands, trying to get your full length of the spine flat on the floor. If you'd like to, you can try and add a little rock from left to right just to massage the spine out. And release, draw both knees in, give yourself a good squeeze, raise the forehead up towards your knees. Exhale, release into Shavasana, taking up some space. Well done. When you're ready, allow your toes to flop out, palms out, and arrive into stillness. One deep breath in, feel your belly rise. Open mouth, side to release and relax. Well done. See if you can lay still, noticing the sensations of your body. And just keep returning the attention on the sensations as you use your exhale to release into your Shavasana.
It was a pleasure sharing this space with you. Well done for putting effort into your practice and thanks for putting effort into this channel. See if you can lay here for a little longer than you normally would. I'll see you next time on your mats. Namaste.